So last week's insurance numbers are in. 5,000 for the week. I am actually pretty satisfied with that number. That's up from 4,100 from the prior week. And that brings the total up to 16,000 as of August 27th for this entire month. Now these, by the way, are insurance numbers, not exactly deliveries. Deliveries tend to be higher than the insurance numbers. We're gonna talk about this more in depth and also Neil's secret trick to boost their orders. Can we still get 20,000? I am expecting Neil to get upwards to 23,000. I think we have no problem getting above 20,000 for this month. If you've seen my ES6 deliveries with video where Ting took delivery of his car, in that video, he actually placed his order at the end of July. So you know for a fact that those people that place their orders at the end of July are taking delivery of their cars right now. Those are the last batches of uh, new owners that could get six free swaps per month forever. The last batch for the free swap also. So because of that, there was a big rush of orders at the end of July. And this is also why Tang rushed to place down his order as well. So I believe Neil has no problem of achieving 20K deliveries this month. You guys may have missed this from the live stream yesterday that Neil CEO did, but Neil's uh, CEO is waiting on the ES8 as well. He, he bought the ES8 and he, even he has to wait for delivery of that car. Now maybe it's possibly because he's very busy, but also he said that there's a bunch of orders and uh, he's going to let the customers take delivery first. And that really hints at the fact that there's a lot of ES8 orders as well. However, with further discussion with the new manager, deliveries are going to be good this month. However, orders are still very good, but not as much as last month. Keep in mind, it's still very good, but not as much as last month. Not saying orders are bad, okay? This is mainly driven by the fact that there was a big surge in orders last month, and this could potentially impact deliveries for September. However, New has a big trick up their sleeves, which will massively boost deliveries. And that is, of course, the launch of the EC6, and they are potentially going to bring back six free swaps again, but for just a limited amount of time. And this is what Neo likes to do when they launch uh, cars. You can place down a very small deposit, early, early deposit, and that secures you some bonus perks. All the cars launched this year and launched last year, if you place down early, early deposit, you get uh, free swaps, the free swap package. So that's also possibly why they're not launching the ES6, uh, EC6 right away, right now. They want the last batch of people with uh, six free swaps to take delivery of the cars and they have a gap period, a period of time where a lot of customers that are checking out Neil, they missed out, they feel really bad. And then they actually want that six free swaps. They realize how important it is. And then boom, they launch the EC6. It is your last final opportunity to get those six free swaps per month, but only for a limited period of time. Place down the deposit right now. That is the secret weapon. And in fact, uh, talking to uh, potential customers here in China, uh, you know, when I make videos in China, promoting Neil and people scan my invite code and then we can chat on the new app. Some, some customers have asked me, you know, they still really want the six free swaps per month, but they missed out. So after this gap period, then they launched the EC6, then, you know, you still have the opportunity, you missed out earlier, but here is your last chance to get six free swaps per month. Come on, that is going to pull in another bunch of orders. And keep in mind, from what I heard from new, uh, new employees, most of the ESA orders are coming from existing uh, Neo owners, especially the, the Founders Edition ES8, you know, those cars are four or five years old now. The Neo owner with 23 Neos, he's not getting rid of his Founders Edition. He said it's pretty much his first baby. He's going to keep it for sure. And then he's also taking delivery of the brand new ES8. So this really hints that there's a lot of cars. And like in the delivery center, the delivery center is massive. It's packed. If you see my, uh, delivery center video where I filmed myself in the delivery center in here in Beijing. You can see there's so many cars, massive amount of cars, lots of ES6s, ES8s, ET5Ts. Uh, you saw one or two EC7s, but uh, like one of you guys commented, there were no ET7s. Yeah. And uh, you could, I, I didn't notice any ES7s either. And this is going to be the general trend going forward. And that's the fact that the 777s, ET7, EC7, and 
the S7 are going to be like the premium hard to reach cars that are not going to deliver a lot of cars, but they are top of the line nonetheless. And then the main delivery drivers are going to be the 5566, ET5, ET5T, ES6, and EC6 that are going to come out. And keep in mind that ET5 deliveries have fallen off a roof. So it's mainly the ET5T, the ES6, and the EC6 that are going to be pulling deliveries forward. Also, it's very important to keep in mind that August has traditionally been a weaker month in terms of automobile deliveries in general. So Neo achieving 20,000 deliveries in August will be a tremendous feat and you guys should not ever undervalue this achievement. Also to keep in mind, Neo does have a internal deliveries target of 30,000 deliveries. They're aiming for 30,000 deliveries uh, for October. That means September and then October, they're going to try to get 30,000 deliveries. Of course, the only way to do that is, of course, the secret trick that they're going to do. They're going to push EC6 to the max. It's going to be probably the only car that can still get the free swaps. And Neil has to create a lot of buzz around this and make people buy this car. And the EC6 will probably be at the same price of the ES6. So what you'll see is a lot of ES6 buyers and those hesitating to buy the ES6 as well. They're going to pull the trigger and buy the EC6 and we're going to see a massive boost in deliveries just based on the EC6 alone because of the fact that it gets you free swaps. Now, should Neo keep it at the same price? I think they absolutely should. Even though looking at it retrospectively, the ET5 and the ET5T having it at the same price really hurt ET5 sales, but it has really tremendously helped the ET5T a lot. And those two products are very similar in general and it makes sense to them for them to have the same price with the ES6 and the EC6 as well same logic they're pretty much the same car just a different design for the back a little bit less storage room and you get a mechanical spoiler that can lift up that is going to be very very cool I don't have that on my EC6 I believe going forward the first major achievement that they got to do is continuously sustain above 20,000 deliveries per month that's going to be a very tough task for September. If they are able to do that, that is just going to be game changer as well. That means they are open for the possibility of getting up to 25,000 uh, to 30,000 for October and beyond. And deliveries itself is a self-fulfilling prophecy. The more you sell, the more people see that it's a hot product, the more people want to buy the car. Just like how Wiley Auto publishes these insurance numbers every week to show people that, hey, look, we're number one in terms of the NEV cars, new energy vehicle cars, even though we didn't include BYD or, or Tesla. But you get the point. We're number one. You, you are making a good choice buying our cars. So good deliveries brings further boost in deliveries. And guys, please go check out my delivery center video where I took delivery of the ES6 with TIY by Ting. It's his car. Go check it out, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy. Peace out.